This is Uma Makeshwari welcoming you to the session on report writing. In this session, I am going to help you to learn the format of writing a report. I will be stating the format of report. I will be also explaining each subtitle of the report along with the worked out sample to facilitate easy and complete understanding of the format. I always believe that learning of any topic begins with the ability to define the topic. So if you are set to learn report writing, you should start with knowing what a report is. A report is an official document prepared after examining a particular situation or problem. From the definition of report, you could understand the significant role that reports play in an organization. And as future engineers, you should acquire skills of writing a report in proper format. Based on the nature of examination, and presentation reports are classified into several types. To mention a few types, there are progress reports, survey reports, investigative reports, and feasibility reports. And progress report traces the progress of a project. Survey report summarizes the existing studies in an organized manner. And an investigative report investigates the factors that led to a situation. And a feasibility report assesses the practicality of a proposed project. Format of the report. Writing of any official document will, ha will be having a format. Report writing too has a format to follow. At this point, I would like to bring in the difference between formats of reports prepared in real life and reports written in pen paper tests. The format of reports prepared in real life situations is stated in the left hand side. In pen paper set scenario, certain subtitles of the report writing could be skipped. I could explain this. The format of the report in real life situations include cover page and title page. The both will have the same content that is the details about the name of the report and the people who prepared the report and date of submission. The difference between this cover a page and title page is the texture of the paper. So the cover page will have a thicker paper texture and the title page will have a normal paper. And the third subtitle of, of the report writing is contents where you would be having the topic and the corresponding page number where the title or the subtitle could be found out. And then comes the acknowledgement where the report writer would be thanking the people and the agencies that helped him in preparing the report. And background sets the overall scenario of the uh, event or a project and the purpose states the direct um, objective of the report. Terms of reference includes the people, details of the people who asked to prepare the report and the people who prepared the report and it also includes date of submission. Work then explains the methodology of getting the information, findings, the whatever things that are found based on the work done, it comes in findings and the final recommendations and conclusion. Note of dissent comes after recommendations, which means a disagreement, any disagreement from any party or source or organization with regard to the report has to be mentioned in note of dissent. And appendix is a collection of material that helped in the preparation of the report. It, For example, it could be a questionnaire that is used to, to collect information. So the documents that were helpful in the preparation of the report but are not that important to be included in the main report are, are, are represented in appendix. This is the format of a report in real life situation. Now we come to pen paper test scenario. When a student is expected to write a report in an examination, the certain titles like cover page, big could, and uh, contents, acknowledgement and appendix could be skipped because why cover page is skipped because it is a repetition to uh, the same details are given twice in cover page and title page and examination point of view that repetition is not required and also the content and acknowledgement and appendix has got no relevance in examination scenario so could be skipped 
So this is the format, the difference between the format in real life situations and format of a report in pen paper test. So now we will go to the each subtitle of a report. To explain this, as I said earlier in the previous slide, a sample question is given and the question goes like this. Assume yourself as the marketing executive Honda India. Prepare a feasibility report to be submitted to a CEO Honda Motors on the launching of solar panel support eco-friendly bike into Indian market. So we have to prepare a report for this question and we could start with the title page and the title page contains the details about the name of the report and also the details of the person who directed to prepare the report and the person who really prepared the report. The details include name, designation and organization. The title page also would include the date of submission. So all these details to be written in the center of the page. Uh, as you could see in the purple color font, the worked out sample to the question given above, you could see the name of the report is written in the center and the information I got is, is taken from the question itself. So, and below that we could see submitted to the person name and designation and organization and submitted by a name of a person designation and organization given and below it is the date of submission. After writing the title page comes the background and then followed by purpose. The background provides the scenario or the situation that led to the situation examined in the report and that gives an overall picture of the, the situation and purpose relates the objective of the preparation of report. Um, this could be better understood when you check out this purple colored font passage where a worked out sample is given, a background to the launching of eco-friendly bike in Indian market is written. So the background sets the overall scenario of what the challenges faced in by the automobile industry with the traditional fuel sources and the emergence of alternative sources and new technologies and, and the profitability of capturing Indian market is also set as a background. So in this background, uh, a report is prepared and the purpose states the direct objective of the report that is to check the feasibility of launching solar panel support bike into Indian market. After the background and purpose comes the terms of reference and in the terms of reference details about the person who asked to prepare the report and the person who prepared the report is given and also the date of submission. I followed by, after this terms of reference comes work done which, which, which includes the information or the methodology that is followed to collect the information and that methodology is represented in the form of bullet points and the tense to be used to write the work done is past tense and impersonal passive could be used wherever required. If you check the worked out sample, you could understand how this terms of reference is written and also work done. You could see it, the work done in bullet points and past tense is used and also impersonal passive wherever required is used. So through this methodology, the report writer has collected information to check the feasibility of launching the product, that is launching that uh, solar support, panel supported eco bike. So these are the survey as conducted, he made an analysis to get the information, everything written in past tense and impersonal passive form. After writing the work done, the methodology of getting information comes findings. Findings tell the, explains or states the reasons of factors that are found and that could be responsible for a situation and it has to be written in bullet points. You could check the worked out sample. The findings of the work done regarding the launching of bike is written there for your easy understanding. You could see at the beginning of findings starts like after a thorough investigation, 
the following observations are made. So you could begin with it is found that. So whatever finding that a report writer gets by following a certain methodology by collecting information could be stated in bullet points under the subtitle findings. After the findings comes the recommendation. In the subtitle recommendation, you would be writing the recommendations or points that ought to be followed to make the situation better. A choice of words in writing a recommendation could be helpful and it is the choice is made based on the nature of the recommendation made. For example, there is an option of using must be and also there is an option of using can be or may be. And where to use must be? Must be can be used to indicate the compulsion of following the recommendation. Example, the machines must be properly serviced and maintained to avoid accidents in the future. There is a compulsion when you recommend something and you feel that it has to be compulsorily followed, then must be could be used. And there are there would be situations where you would be recommending something, but there is no that there is no compulsion of doing it immediately or completely. In that case, can be or may be could be used wherein you would be stressing the necessity of following the recommendation, but you leave it to the discernment of the people concerned whether to follow it or not. Example, counselling can be provided to parents in not aggravating the exam stress of the children. Suitable alternative housing arrangement may be given to those who are affected by the flood. So now you could go through the worked out sample where a recommendation is given to the findings that was done earlier to the same question stated above and you could check how the use of must be, can be or may be in the recommendation. Closing of the report. Not all reports would be requiring recommendation. There would be reports where a recommendation will not be given. There won't be a scope to give, recommend something. In that case, you could write conclusion. The conclusion summarizes all key points of the report and you could have the option of opening conclusion. You could open a conclusion with in conclusion, otherwise to sum up, otherwise it is clear that and then you could summarize all the key points. After recommendation or conclusion based on the nature of the report, you either have recommendation or conclusion. After that comes note of dissent. And dissent means disagreement. It includes details of anybody or any organization or agency disagreeing with the situation or event that the report has examined. And for example, if there is a nuclear plant that is planned to be uh, set in, a, in an area, maybe the people in that area might oppose to that project. If a report is prepared on the setting of nuclear plant in that locality, in under the title note of dissent, you could mention that local people are opposing this project. So note of dissent, it states the people or organization or agency that disagree with the project or the uh, situation that the report is examining. And if there is no agreement, disagreement, then the report writer would be writing nil against note of dissent. So I have given three practice questions for you to practice and try to identify to which type these each question belongs. Identify whether it belongs to investigative or recommendatory or feasibility. Happy learning.